Okay, folks, welcome back to Fishing Planet in this awesome 4th of July event. Uh, so, so, I've been getting a lot of questions about cannonballs. These are very good questions on how to get your cannonballs. So, I'm going to show you that. Um, it doesn't seem to matter what lake, any of the flag lakes you just go to. And as you can see, I'm using a bottom rod. It's kind of the way, I, my patented way of always doing it. I just take a bottom rod and I'll cast out, and it doesn't matter where you're at, you just want to hook onto something. Uh, if you find a spot, like uh, here, I was, I found a spot and I kept just casting exactly to it. I think it's like right here, I'm not sure. But you will get them relatively quickly once you find your spot. You just need to find a spot where you're getting snagged underwater, guys. Uh, so... When I do topwater snags, like if I'm trying to get snagged up in lily pads, I'll use a uh, a lure like the, uh, a walker, and I'll just drag it through. But I haven't got a cannonball that way. I've been only getting them from the bottom, uh, so just keep that in mind. And also, that you can get these everywhere. I've gotten them at Michigan, uh, Lone Star. I can't remember. I've gotten them pretty much everywhere. I've done most of the ways of doing it but there we go we got a snake right there let's see if we get one nope but what you want to do is just find a spot where you're getting snagged on bottom definitely a bottom rod helps if you put a big weight on it and uh some sort of uh you don't have to use bread i just do bread because it's cheap and a bigger hook and you get snagged quite a bit and that's how you guys get your cannonballs. Hopefully this helps you out, guys. We'll see you next time.